We now have Imogen Fuchs from the BBC on the line. Imogen, are you there? Yes, I am. Hi, can you hear me okay? Very well, please go ahead. Hi, this is, I think, primarily for um, Dr. Tedros. And I mean, first of all, I want to say this is an incredibly difficult time and you are showing uh, leadership, which I think all countries need. However, I'm sure you're aware that you're advising things like aggressive measures, sophisticated surveillance, um, there was a talk of identifying people and removing them from the community. What do you say to some of the human rights groups who warn that this could set precedents in some some countries where these measures will stay and be used for other purposes? Does that concern you at all? Um, you know, on um, especially uh, social distancing or staying at home and less travel. We know this uh, actually uh, influences the uh, individual uh, human rights. Uh, but this is um, a choice that we should we should make, uh, meaning in order to have collective security to be better as society and to fight the virus. Uh, we give our fr freedom, you know, for a while. And this can be arranged by governments. Uh, there are many ways. They can use their parliament uh, to have, you know, provisions for a, a short, short period. And people will agree as long as it brings uh, collective uh, security, they will, they will agree. And people understand uh, to have to limit their their individual freedom if it's for the betterment of uh, the, the the society and when it's for a short period so it's a dialogue that should continue between the government and the community um, uh, and that's what uh, we're 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 seeing uh, and without uh, that i don't think this virus uh, could be uh, could be uh, stopped. And something we have been saying to governments is, one, you need to have the whole of government approach. All sectors should be mobilized and whole society approach. And there should be a regular communication and increasing awareness. And in a way, actually, that creates trust in the community. And when there is trust, community trust in the government, then there is cooperation. And what the community is being asked uh, it can, 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 can happen because through trust you can ensure community empowerment and ownership. And we said it many times, this is everybody's business. This is our collective security and it can only be assured when each and every one of us contribute uh, to that. If, if I could just supplement. Uh, with Imogen, that uh, we take the issues of personal data, data protection and intrusion uh, very, very seriously. Uh, and uh, our uh, Chief Information Officer, Bernardo Mariano, uh, is working with uh, our Health Information Director, Dr. Oliver Morgan, and many others across the House on ensuring that all of the initiatives we're involved with, uh, while aiming to develop good public health information, be it through apps or other applications, in no way interfere with the individual rights to privacy and protections uh, under the law. And it, it is important when we talk about surveillance and, we, and a surveillance society that, in the case of public health, the gathering of information about individuals, their movements, uh, uh, must be done with the, uh, the consent of the community. Uh, and in many cases of the individual themselves. And, and there are, there are, there are, there are uh, serious issues here that have to be addressed. And that's not just for public health, that's across society and so many other sectors. Uh, but there are times when the good of community and the good of the population uh, is something that we're in a crisis. And it is much better through, as the DG said, through trust and community engagement that individuals are prepared to offer uh, a little piece of individual sovereignty uh, in order to support the community, it's the selflessness of the one to help the many. Uh, but that must be a temporary gift. Uh, that must be an, a, an explicit gift. 
uh, and that must be something that is not taken for granted. That is a gift of the individual to society, not a demand uh, upon the individual. And I think this is a really important point uh, that guides us in our work inside WHO, and Dr Tedros is very keen and, 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 and constantly reminding us of our responsibilities in that regard. Uh, also, in addition to that, we will be and have been working very closely with UNICEF, with the Red Cross movement and other NGOs, and we will be further strengthening and launching a major initiative on uh, risk communication and community engagement for COVID-19, uh, joining together with UNICEF, with the Red Cross movement, on scaling up our ability to engage with, uh, drive the participation and ownership of communities all over the world in the fight against COVID. It is through strong communities that we avoid uh, the worst outcomes of this uh, disease. And it is through strong community ownership and participation we will avoid any abuses of human rights uh, that may emerge as the world fights a, a deadly foe.